Thank you for joining. Just to inform you, given the extensive scope of this topic, I'll be dividing it into at least four parts. The current segment will focus solely on theory. The subsequent lesson will center on coding, specifically implementing explicit model state validation using the isValid property. Following that, we will delve into implicit model state validation using the API controller attribute and attribute constraints. Later lessons will explore custom model validations. When the request is received by Kestrel, it moves through the middleware pipeline. This pipeline processes the request and forwards it to the appropriate controller action. After the controller action, two subsystems are triggered. The first, as discussed in previous lessons, is model binding, and the second is model validation. Following the binding of the model, the next step involves model validation. Model validation is a process that encompasses another process or state known as the model state. The model state is precisely verified by NetCore and represents the object or data received within the request, having passed through the model binding. After model validation, two outcomes are possible – success or error. If the model validation detects errors, such as when the data doesn't adhere to business rules, for instance, if a zero is entered in a field that expects a rating between 1 and 5, the response body will report the error, and the request will not progress further into the business logic. Conversely, if the data successfully passes the validation, the controller's business logic proceeds as usual, providing the response to the client. Model state validation can be approached through implicit and explicit methods. Implicit model state validation is achieved using constraints and a powerful API controller attribute. One of its key capabilities is implicit model state validation during the validation phase. For a detailed understanding of this attribute, please refer to the previous lessons where it was extensively explained. Explicit validation involves custom written logic or the implementation of the isValid property including the model state instance dictionary that contains all errors specific to the model. The isValid property is executed by NetCore only if API controller attribute is missing, indicating that the controller is not declared as of the API type. In the upcoming lesson, we will implement explicit model state validation using the isValid property. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great coding content. Stay updated with the latest videos by ringing the notification bell. Happy coding!